Have you ever wondered what the differences are between all of these bikini waxes? Hi, I'm Becky and I'm a licensed esthetician and I'm here today to tell you what the differences are between these bikini waxes. There's so many different choices out there, but it can be get a bit confusing, especially when you're not sure what exactly you're after. Over here we have the basic bikini wax. This is someone who's got larger underwear and they have pubic hair out on the edges. It's just removing what comes out of the underwear line onto the top part of the thigh. Then you have your high leg extended bikini, which is if anyone that's wearing a thong may want to come that little bit more in just so there's no pubic hair exposed around the edges here, around by where the buttock area is, touching the thong area. Then you finally have the whole area. This is the Brazilian wax. This is everything that's removed from the front. So today we're going to be learning about your basic and extended bikini. So we're here today to talk about your basic bikini line wax. First of all, you wanna make sure that you have cleansed the area well before you even start the wax. Make sure you've got your pre-wax cleansing spray that's in your kit, ready to clean around the edge. You don't need to take underwear off, underwear can stay on. It is literally only the pubic hair that is sitting on the edge, on the outer part. This is nothing to be ashamed of. Many people have pubic hair that grows as far down the leg as it needs to. There is nothing to be ashamed about with your hair growth. We're here to discuss how to remove in the safety of your own home. We're going to use our hot wax and apply from the edges that you see where your pubic hair starts down to the furthest point and beyond. So you want to get your bikini hot wax onto your spatula and start moving the wax downwards in the direction of hair growth. Layer in one strip at a time to each side. You can mirror image your strips. This will help while the wax sets. One side can be set in while the other one is being applied. If you find it helpful, especially as this area can be hot and sweaty, you can always add a bit of talc-free powder before applying your wax. This will help for the wax to grip onto any of the hairs before removing. Once your wax has set, then you're ready to pull against the hair growth. It may seem like a really long strip, but I promise you, if you just go at one pull at a time, slowly coming up, nice, sharp, firm pulls, parallel to the body, it will feel nice and easy for you. Remove both sides. You may feel that you have to go back over and do smaller bits wherever there's cleanup strips that are needed. That's totally fine. You may at the beginning, if you're new to waxing, may feel that it's better to do this anyway if you're finding it hard to do the long strip all the way down. If this is the case, start from the bottom doing your smaller strips just like I've applied and work your way up. The only difference that that may do is feel a little bit more tedious for you when you're waxing. So if you can start getting into the habit of placing your wax in one longer strip and removing slowly, it will be a lot more of a faster and easy process for you. Once you're ready to remove the smaller parts again, do exactly the same, handle, quick pull. If need be, you can just go and get some tweezers to tidy up any bits that are left on show on the skin. After you have removed all of the hair that you're happy with, you want to use your after wax oil and apply it to the edges to make sure the skin feels super smooth. Now we want to talk about our high leg or extended bikini if you know it as that. If you're unaware of what that is, it's literally the pubic hair that is on show when wearing a thong. We're going to start off with your basics, so it's your first step in bikini waxing. We're going to add some hot wax in the direction of hair growth to remove what's on the edge, basically what the hair is growing on onto the top of the thigh. We're gonna remove these strips first and then come in with our second strip, once they're removed, further into the bikini line. What you'll see is the pubic hair on a extended bikini comes more closer to where the buttocks are. By removing the edges first, what we're doing is it's leaving an area that now we can flick out with the wax if we want to come out to the side. You need to make sure that your wax ends beyond wherever the pubic hair finishes. You don't want to snap any hair or be picking where the hair is because this could be painful for you. So by moving your wax strips out to the side where the hair has already been removed will help the process. Once your wax has dried and you're ready to remove, you want to pull the wax 
in short firm poles against the hair growth along the basic bikini line. I'm going to remove both sides and then this will leave you your extended bikini lines. So you want to add more hot wax. As I was saying, you want to scoop out if need be. So you're going to reapply coming that little bit further in. If you have a lot of hair where you're stopping here on the buttocks, then you can now scoop to make almost like that J shape over to the side where you've just removed. So instead of ending it round by the buttocks, you can scoop the wax out to pull from over here. So your handle is now being pulled from where you've just removed the wax on the side. Make sure that you mirror image just to speed it up and pop wax on the other side. If you're someone that's not very hairy down there, then you can just literally stop your wax strip here, right at the end. So you can see the difference between each side. Someone that's a little bit more hairy around the buttock area will stop here. And then someone who has got hardly any hair here can stop right there. Just wanna make sure that you're not picking where there is hair growth because that will be more painful. Once the wax has set, then you're ready to remove these strips against the hair growth again. So if you have stopped here, then you get your handle and start putting short parallel poles up the bikini line. If you have had to scoop your wax out to the leg, you just wanna get your handle up, pull in, then start removing up along the bikini line, just like you did on the other side. If needed, get hold of yourself some uh, tweezers that you can grab the little short stuff and hairs that get left behind. What you'll notice with pubic hair is sometimes they're a little bit shorter, medium and longer in length and that can show along the skin. You may whack some of the hair out and find some shorter ones that are left behind. If need be, use your hand to stretch the skin and to be able to slowly grab the hair and pull. Some hairs are more stubborn than others so if you need to, get your tweezer onto the hair so you've got nice grip and then slowly start to pull the hair out so it stops it snapping. 